If you're a Ping fan, I've got some awesome videos coming up just for you. Guys, I'm just on my way to Ping's European HQ. I'm going for a full bag fit and also I'm going to get a tour around the factory. These are going to be different videos, but this is a vlog of my day at Ping HQ. Let's do it. First of all guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button. Put the thumbs up if you enjoy the content and comment below. Have you ever played ping golf clubs? If yes, which ones and how much did you enjoy them? So guys, I am what can only be described as a very lucky boy today because I'm spending time here. This is Ping's European HQ and this morning we're going to do a factory tour and this afternoon I've been invited to go and do a full bag fitting just over the road at the fitting centre. If you want to watch that full bag fitting make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you don't miss any of the future content that I've got coming. Let's get inside shall we? Now I have got here about an hour and a half early mainly because I'm excited, but also because I wanted to miss the traffic. But they're all worse places to sit and do some editing, aren't they? So everyone, we have come inside the doors and I'm here with Mike, and Mike is the European Fitting Events and Education, Education Manager. Manager. So thanks a lot Mike for having me down here today, I'm really looking forward to it. We've already had a few little pearls of wisdom back there which I'll go through later on, uh, but should we have a bit of a tour around? Of course we can. Okay. So just to give you a bit of history about the building. Just looking here, we're we just about to go into the factory. Yeah. yeah. Just looking here, we are just about to go into the factory. You might even hear the machinery. But take a look at this price for a putter. Seventeen dollars fifty cents. <laughs> Some of you watching, this is going to be heaven for you, isn't it? Can you imagine some of the Ping fans watching this thinking if you, if you order a driver or a hybrid or a new set of irons it could be being made here right now. That's true, that is true. We find a lot of people, it's like a kid in a sweet shop, they come in here, they don't know where to look, there's so much activity going on. Because here we build equipment for the whole of Europe. Now, before I worked in the golf trade, I worked in a factory and we know there's targets and, and all the rest. Mike. Does everything get built perfectly first time or is there the odd error? What happens with them? You see that it wouldn't affect performance in any way because it's yeah. well away from the face. But if someone's invested in a Ping product and they're spending good money on the latest technology. Now my car boot is empty. <laughs> Just putting that one out there. <laughs> Watch you walking out with it. Yeah. It's taken us a good five minutes to walk from one side of the factory to the other. And if, this, if, if these are the only clubs here, which aren't quite perfect, Then the guys are doing a pretty stellar job. Let's carry on. Yeah. Yeah. So I can see there that, is it Barry? Harry. Oh, Harry. <laughs> Sorry Harry. It's got to be Barry. It's got to be. I can see there that Harry has such a, a delicate touch with the hammer. One knock with the hammer was equating to a quarter of a degree movement. Mike's just talking me through how a set of irons will be made throughout the line. And one thing that gets me is, Mike, do you know what everyone's name is? Yes, I tried to. 160 staff? Yeah. 
He's saying, can this, Harry, that? Unbelievable. Part of the thing culture, because we're family owned, it's really important that everybody is a name, not a number. Yeah. And we spend a lot of time making sure we learn people's names and make sure we interact. And everyone's a team, it doesn't matter what position you are in the company. And I make one hell of a staff do at Christmas. <laughs> This cell here is our works department or our tour department. So this is a cell slightly separate to the rest of the factory. And these guys are responsible for building all our European tour player equipment, our elite up and coming player equipment as well. And then really anything outside of the standard product mix yeah. as well. One thing I love about- Are you telling me these people will build my clubs, Michael? Uh, <laughs> nah, <laughs> maybe. You've seen the course logs, mine are getting built over there. So, I look behind me here and there's loads and loads of gold putters. Mike, could you tell us a little bit about what the gold putter tradition yeah, is all about? This is, this is a special tradition and people love this one. Fantastic. So people like Martin Keimer, for instance, when he won the, uh, the US Open a yep. few years ago. Do you, Do you have this? any we could look at? I've got one. One. We borrowed it. <laughs> but uh, this one belonged to Andy Sullivan. Am I allowed so, to touch it? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> so that's a gold-plated one back in 2016 when he won the Joburg Open. So uh, that's the length that Andy has his putter, the same grip, the same loft, the same lie, same shaft. Um, but uh, cool, it's, uh, I think it's about 30 and a half inches in length. How short? In fact, I bet that posture looks good, does it? It does, yeah. Suits you. In. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> This is an original 1A, so the, the putter responsible for the name of the company. Oh, okay. So if you want to hit a ball with that, yeah. you get a good, uh, a good indication of where the sound came from. It's the sound that started it all, Mark, yeah? The sound that started it all. That is unbelievable. It's a it? cracking ring to it, hasn't Let's it? Let's have a close-up and see if they can hear that. Everything yeah, I am ever been released, so late 60s to present day. Comment below, guys, who here has used one of those? I know I have. Also, we have the same with the drivers. It's pretty, uh... Who here has seen my video where I put this bad boy against, where is it? This one here. And who can tell me the difference in yardage we found? Comment below. Okay guys, that has been, I'm not sure how many parts yet, because I need to decide if I make it a one part, a two part, or a three parter, but it's been an unbelievable experience. If ever you get the opportunity to come down to Ping, come down to Gainsborough, get in the factory and see how not only your clubs are made, but Lee Westwood's clubs, Tyrrell Hatton's clubs, Andy Sullivan's clubs, Miguel Angel Jimenez clubs, not his cigars, just the clubs, you'll get to see how they're made right here. It's not something that everyone gets the chance to do, but I'm so grateful. And Mike, thank you ever so much for the talk. Pleasure. What this Great guy time. doesn't know about Ping isn't worth knowing. Okay guys, so here we are, we're in the Ping Fitting Center. First of all, I believe we're gonna concentrate on an iron set for me. Uh, meet Ed, Ed is the fitter for today, so. Ed's gonna pretty much talk me through everything and anything ping irons. Let's get straight to it, shall we? So at the moment I'm using Titleist 716 MB irons. Okay. Uh, I like them, they're obviously not very forgiving. I'm not playing that much golf at the minute, so I would like to think something maybe a little bit more yeah. behind. We've done a static fit, that's put me in a standard length and what was it, a upright, green upright? And a green color code, which is a little bit upright which is different to what I would normally use actually, so this is already an interesting point, going from one brand to another, to see what I'm going to get fitted for. Okay, double level of blue. Okay, so fraction into that heel side. Yeah. The strike is coming out of the heel here, so we're now going to get a flatter club, probably more towards the standard lie angle, maybe even one or two degrees flat, see if we can get this moving more to the middle. 
I don't know you said it felt lighter, it's an incongruity in the swing of past or feeling that you might be in past stroke against the density of the speed of course is up to the other two. It's going a little higher for the case. And that's got a tiny bit left, it felt pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It was as good as anything we've tried. That's as good as I can hit, I think. Okay, so that is just about the end of the iron fitting, and I hope you heard all that. I am going to cut bits out and edit bits and all sorts, but we've come to an arrangement. We are definitely going dynamic gold 120 shaft, we are definitely going blue dot, and we are definitely going power loss. But what head are we going for? So just before I tell you guys, I want you to smash that keyboard, I want you to tell me what head would you go for? Ping i500 or ping i210 iron? Personally, One thing I do like about coming for a fit in here, we get the trap man open, we get the optimizer up, and from there, pretty much we're looking to find a level which we find our optimum ball speed, spin rate, launch angle, everything. Then you'll know you're hitting it as far as you can with the equipment. They felt better. Now as when we look at shaft options, we see if we can lower the spin a little bit more and get to that optimum number of about 270 distance. Hazardous 6.0 shaft. It looks good, doesn't it? Let's see how it performs. That, that almost felt high with low spin. Exactly that, yeah. exactly. Your launch angle was higher, your spin rate was lower. Okay, so that was a certainly more efficient. I love the fitting, don't you? <laughs> That could be a match made in heaven, I think. It's like a completely different club as soon as you put that shaft in yeah, there. Okay guys, that is the end of the driver fitting. Didn't take that long actually. As soon as we started off, I was hitting the standard G400 head and they were very high, very spinny, and Ed soon noted we had to get the ball speed up, we had to get the spin rate down, we had to get the launch down. Okay guys, that's it from me. That was my vlog round Ping HQ. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, smash the thumbs up. If you like what you've seen today, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the iron fit, the driver fit, and my two part or three part possibly tour of Ping's HQ factory and European factory and head offices. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon.